Hello everyone, welcome to this third session on tangles by CZT and uh, we are already down two tiles, we have learned about three tangles, three or four tangles in fact. Uh, today we will be learning two more. The first tangle that we are going to be learning is called conch. Yeah, it's a tangle by CZT Lori Manuvian and this tangle is somewhat inspired from, again it starts like the tangle muka, it looks like an extension of the tangle muka. So what I'm going to do is just draw something like a mocha or a fescue like this. Yeah, that's the first step. And then I'm going to extend this like this. Yeah, that's the first step. And then I'm going to add orbs underneath, squeezing them in. These are not complete orbs. Then just go back and add some inking to the in-between spaces like this and then add auras coming down all the way like this you can add as many as you feel like reducing in size diminishing in size like this this is the basic of the tangle conch now these auras you can always add ops as in the original tangle however you can also add some other tangles if you feel like yeah so you can deck up these auras as much as you feel like always open to tangliations but that's how the basic tangle goes tangle conch yeah now when it comes to shading it's again shading on the two sides and highlight the center yeah so I would darken the two sides of the scap that my mocha is wearing and I am also going to add some here like this and then blend it yeah so that's how the tangle conch doesn't it look beautiful yes now the second tangle that we are going to be learning today is called I can do so the tangle Icanthus, somewhat an extension of the tangle Icanthus is by Hani Nura and this is how it goes. I am going to first draw a curved line like this and then come back, add one curl, another curl, a third one curling in like this and then I add a stem inside like this. Yeah, you can either start first with the stem and then draw the outer shape or you can start with the outer shape. I find it easier to draw it this way. So once you go up, then come down, two curls, curl it in and then add some stems. That's the tangle I can do. Yeah, now you, there are so many ways to go about shading it, but you generally add on the line. You can also shade on the inner stem that you added but that's the most usual way is to add on these lines like this or add on the center line that you added. Yeah, so that's tangle I can do a beautiful flowy leafy pattern which can be used with any flower pattern any tangle which has the look of a flower yeah so today in our tile we are going to be primarily using these two tangles right and let's see how does it work out so I'm going to start right away I'm again going to be working on a zendala today and I'm going to add a pen border right so I'm adding a border first start with a sense of gratitude and appreciation towards this art form, towards the smallest of things that you have in life that you always took for granted. Yeah, I think these two years of COVID made many people realize to value the smallest of things in life. Yeah, so starting with our tangle, I'm going to start right away, go up, give a nice curve, come down like this, curl, Give a nice curl and then again add stems inside. Yeah, 
now again I'm going to add the second one you can always draw behind like this and then again add two stems yeah now the third one again either you can go on extending in the same way or probably I will add in a different way yeah so I will start from here like this again come down just note the shape yeah again I'm going to probably add some on the other side or keep it to one side only so I'm going to use this stem again bend on the other side come back one curl two curl and the third curl and then again add these delicate looking stems yeah the in between spaces again I'm going to add one more curl it in again the stem like this yeah you can add some more tangles also for example you can just weave some mukas there sprouts or complete mukas whatever you feel like yeah let us see how do we want to do it so I'm just going to add some bit of mukas here and there let's see and then I'm going to add a small tangle called petal paints or probably you can also add these flower paints right so I'm just going to add some curves like this coming down till here and then join it so petal paints looks nice simple to draw yeah you can add some more of these here and there let's see where so I'm going to first add some more mochas take advantage of this curve like this yeah probably add one more petal pane here yeah and then add the same curves just like a flower and then bring lines down slight curve to the lines all bent in one direction like this yeah the spaces we'll see what do we want to do now let us first draw our second angle here our conch sitting it nicely here so I have first started with this fescue shape or mocha shape whatever want to you call want to call it then adding this yeah I've done it slowly you can see the stroke then I'm going to add further ops take your time slowly diminish the size big ops bulky ones that's what gives it the look like these and then start adding your auras they can be thick ones they can be thin ones as many as you feel like the tangle conch like this yeah so now what I'm going to do is add another tangle inside or you can also add uh, you know inking with some highlights so I'm just going to go with some small rolled printums here you can go with ops I'm just deviating a little here take your time and slowly add any tangle of your choice 
to alternate auras or you can also add to all whichever way you feel like yeah and the first one here take your time like this yeah you want you can add some bit of weight here like this so i'm going to be adding one more here bending this like this give a nice curl right and then you just have to turn it like this and get back here yeah and then add some nice orbs I hope you got a hang of how to draw the tangle. I'm going pretty slow here. Yeah, and then the same exercise. Go back and add these nice auras, which you can deck up the way you want. Add beautiful tangles, add inking. whichever way you feel like yeah so i am going to add some other tangle probably we will go with uh, some echoism yeah so i will just draw this s cursive s simple and beautiful tangle as an tangle original echoism actually the tangle is drawn this way this is series of cursive s right so add any tangle of your choice no hard and fast rule if you want you can add some orbs in the first so all layers can be decorated so once you know the basic tangle it is up to you make it your own as i keep saying give it your personal touch play with it as you feel like yeah done with that i'm just going to add a slight aura here if you want you can ink this section black it will look nice i think so but before doing that i'm just going to add a fine aura inside like this right so that my tangle doesn't mingle with my inking some inked spaces always look nice so take your time do that exercise so i am almost almost finishing with my inking here like this right now these spaces left i'm just going to add the tangle knight's bridge in the spaces left here right so i'm just going to divide this section probably into two and go with the tangle knight's bridge so you can choose any tangle of your choice take your time and we will ink that section as we do for knight's bridge alternate sections yes knight's bridge is as an tangle original we have done this tangle many times so take your time and slowly do that exercise of inking so i'm almost finishing my inking here like this yeah so you can see how it adds to the look of your tile again a few petal paints
one or two more that I am going to be adding nice curves and then bring down the lines from the turnings and you make this beautiful tangle called petal paints going to add one more here take your time choose tangles that come to you easily just stick to the new two tangles that we learned today yeah so I've added two more. Now the rest of the space, it is entirely up to you. How do you want to fill it, right? So use some uh, simple tangles like bales or nipa or any tangle of your choice. I think I will go with the tangle and zeppel. Yeah, so I'm going to draw the tangle and zeppel now, the crazy version. So I'm just going to draw some crazy lines yeah zigzag lines in a random fashion not really thinking where what filling up the rest of the spaces that I have with these random lines running in any direction like this I think that would be sufficient we don't need to add more yeah right and now we are going to aura inside each of these spaces so retrace the line and just don't go till the end yeah aura the inside retrace the line and just round the corner like this yeah tangle pattern and zipple in its crazy version these corners, small little spaces, if you want, you can start inking at the same time. So whether the spaces are small or big, you have to do the same exercise in each of the spaces. Yeah, so I'm just adding an aura there and doing the same exercise for the rest of the three corners. like this yeah so continue doing like that for all the sections just round the corner ink whatever the in between spaces there go to each of the section tangle pattern and zeppel it's again as in tangle original yeah so you can see what I'm doing. I'm retracing the lines and rounding the corners, not going up to the corner and instead inking it. Yeah. So do the same exercise for all sections that you created by drawing these zigzag random lines, whether small or big, you have to do the same exercise throughout yeah so I am done with drawing my enzepil now it is up to you if you want you can add something else in between also but I am going to leave it here now going back to my acanthu I am just going to add some bit of weight here and there for example in these curls right so they get a little more prominence as you add some weight there nice way to enhance the look again here a little weight and here a little weight there right now let us move on to shading and then we'll see if we want to add bits and bits there we can always do that right so as I mentioned conch always a good idea to add shades here at the edges two ends and highlight the center that's a nice way to shade this tangle it looks nice but of course if you have some very 
elaborate tangles in between you can always go with shading them individually yeah so it all depends on how or what kind of a tangliation have you created i have kept it simple so i'm going to shade it this way only the way it looks best yeah so make sure you leave a highlight in the center Don't add too much grey. Yeah. Just darken the ends. Similarly for the other one. It's a smaller one so don't add too much graphite. You can also if you want add on one side and leave the other. Let me show you one more way. Yeah. So I'm going to darken one side and highlight the other like this sometimes you shade perk that way so I am using the same method yeah so you can also shade it this way yeah now going to our petal paints just add some graphite here no need to do anything else to this beautiful lovely looking tangles flowers very simple to draw just blend here yeah coming to our acanthu again I'm just going to highlight this part yeah So it again depends on you how do you want to go about shading. So I feel like doing it this way right now. And the last two again on this line. Make sure the curls, the curves is what gives Icanthu its true character so you have to maintain these curls and curves the shape is important as far as Icanthu is concerned otherwise it's very simple to draw but it gets its true look only when you stick to the shape Yeah, a little touch on the mocha, not much, slight. If you want, you can go to your. And then comes these enzeppels, so just add another layer inside, just mimic the shape. Yeah. So I think what is already there on my dot line that's sufficient to give that shading effect like this. Yeah, I'm doing the same exercise for all. Added that shape with my pencil inside my enzeppel throughout and then just blurring it a little. Right? So there are so many other ways to go about shading your enzeppel. It's entirely up to you how do you want to. Yeah. So today I felt like shading it this way. So that's my enzeppel. If you want to add some bit of drama, you can always go with some black pearls inside. Some of them always adds to the look. So a nice embellishment. Yeah. And... I would like to redo some of the lines again after shading. So I am redoing the back of my acanthu like this. Right. So after shading, some of the lines may need to be redone. 
and that's what I'm doing here. So that's about it. If you want, again, white spaces always tempt me to add that black sky kind of a look. So you can either leave it absolutely black or you can add these dots to give that mystical kind of a look, but that's optional. Using my jelly roll to do that. Yeah. And one last thing, use your chalk pencil to highlight the other side of your conch. And in this, the center where you have not added graphite. Yeah. So that you can do as far as your conch is concerned. It will add more contrast to your tangle. Yeah. So let us close our tile here. I'm going to put in my chop somewhere sitting on my canthu. Sign and date your tile. And I shall see you again with a few more new tangles, right? So till then, have a good time. Bye-bye.